Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks importing PDF and we're going to be checking on the properties. All right, so let's get into it. So, at a, so it's, it is very important to be efficient. So in these tips and tricks, what we're trying to show is we're trying to extend on the knowledge of how to import PDF because PDFs because that's very important to make our room layout very quickly. Okay, okay. So step number one, what I would suggest everyone to do is to be very consistent and very methodical. Okay. So let's go check in here. For example, I have in here in my PDF the following. I have a folder. In the folder, I put Writesoft import PDF. So you have actually, for example, uh, two options. Option number one is going to be to import the complete PDF file. So this PDF file is going to have, for example, six uh six pages or ten pages so what i usually do is i split it into different pages so this particular one has five pages so what i did is i removed each page like for example page one page two page three four and five individually and the reason is at times when i import this whole document sometimes there are glitches sometimes it makes the file bigger or we don't we want to avoid glitches so in order to avoid glitches just a very good suggestion is to split it in different documents for example this could be the basement first floor second floor so you're only gonna need those right okay that's step number one and then create a folder okay number two what we're going to do in here is now we're going to import this uh, file okay <clears throat> so let's go here and then check so in order to import as we know in other videos we're going to click here click in here and then you may you're going to make this and then it's going to ask you from where okay from where it's going to say okay you're going to put in here the folder let's put the folder right here copy paste so that's the folder as i was mentioning you have the option of putting like uh importing con the complete uh, floor plans or just independently for example let's choose uh, floor plans condo number two open there we go okay so we are importing the pdf the room layout that the architect is providing or the homeowner okay okay so now in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make and extend this because right now it's not fitting so we're gonna go here and extend it like this okay there we go we extended it okay perfect now we have the complete pdf in here only for one level right so this is going to be for the second floor as you can see in here or you can put the bay, uh, whichever you want okay so now what happens is in here uh, you have different options for this imported pdf and the reason i'm the reason i'm making this video is because i uh, i got a lot of emails indicating more information about importing pdfs okay Okay, so now that you have here, what you do is you have the options of doing a right click and in the right click, you're going to have different options in here. Okay. Okay. So in the right click, what you have is number one, you're going to be able to change the color PDF color. So that depends on the, on the designer or, or whatever you want. So in here you can choose, for example, red, let's choose red. And there we go. You're going to find this background as red, or you can choose, for example, pink or blue. There we go. Whichever you guys want, it, th that depends on the designer. So that's a very good option actually to, to differentiate when you're uh, doing your room layout. So we're going to keep it as red and then we're going to see how it goes. Okay. All right. So we have that option PDF color and then we have the other option PDF file is where wherever this PDF is located and saved. And then as you can see in here, it says number of pages, number of pages says one. So whenever you import the complete PDF, it's going to say 96 or it's going to say 10, depending on the number of pages that your PDF has. But um, what happens is, again, you have the risk of having maybe sometimes some glitches. If you, if you don't have any problem, you can try it out too. No problem. Okay. 
Okay, so this is just general practice. I usually split it in one by one, okay? All right, and if you do differently, just leave it in the comments. We can discuss that. And honestly, it's gonna be good for me because I also like learning from your input or any output, okay? Any input that you guys have. Okay, so we're gonna go for the page display. We're putting in here. This page display is, for example, if you have number of pages 10, this is telling you which page are you showing here. For example, page number five. Now, PDF drawing scale, this is one. And that's very important because if you put in here, for example, half of it, you can, this is gonna get smaller. So 0 0.5, for example, see, gets smaller. Or if you're gonna put, for example, two, yeah, it gets bigger. And then you're gonna have to extend this viewport, okay? So we're gonna leave it as one for now, but this is just to show you how, how this is looking, okay? So what is every everything in this property? And I'm glad that I'm showing this video because that way everyone gets knowledgeable on importing PDF, so that way we increase our efficiency on finishing our manual J and SND, okay? Okay, now this is a very interesting topic. So uh, rotation angle. That's very important because I remember one time when I was starting, I didn't know how to rotate this because I imported the PDF and I was trying this uh, in here, the rotate button in here. So it is, it, it's actually uh, gray out. So there's no way you can use this, see? I was trying, I was thinking, how can I rotate this? Because what happens is you need the orientation you need to show your orientation, the, orienta the orientation of the front door, okay? So in this case, for example, the front door or the main entrance is, is right here, right? So this is the front door, okay? And say that the front door, for example, is facing north, for example. So when you go to the field and then it's been determined that the front door faces north, okay? So for that, this is very important to show uh, because what happens is you have option number one. Let's show the compass. Show, I mean, uh, view, default construction number bar. See, as of now, it's showing this is north and this front door orientation is east. Why? Because this is north, right? and this is east. So this orientation of this front door is east. So this gets confusing because what happens is you can easily do this north. Okay, we're good, we're all good, no problem. But sometimes the architect is, doesn't show it like this, like this layout, like as in vertical. The architect is showing it like horizontally. And you can leave it like this but it's gonna be confusing for the contractor and for everyone then looking at the at the drawings like you have this and then you have the other side like rotated like for example like this and then I'm gonna rotate in here for example this is gonna be 90. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit confusing, right? So in other words, whenever you have, oh wait a minute, see, I'm, I'm running out of a space. So whenever you run out of a space in here, what you can do is you can extend your borders right here. So you can extend in the borders, you go right click, and then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna extend this scrolling width and scrolling, scrolling height. So that's gonna be, for example, 300, and it's gonna be 300. Okay, so you have more space in there, okay? So see, now what happens is consistency is important. Consistency shows how professional you are. Because I've seen like manual J's where, uh, they present it like this and the architectural drawings are like this. So it is it is a little bit confusing. It's okay, but it's still not a good thing. Okay, so now we need to match whatever the architectural uh, drawing is, is saying. So in other words, what we're gonna do in this example is I want to rotate this and then I want my door to face north, for example, okay? Okay, and I want this to, to be horizontal, or let's make it, yes, horizontal, okay? Right click, right, you select the, you select the imported PDF, right click, and again, you have the option to change the colors, current scale, and everything. 
rotation angle is going to be this for uh, 90. There we go. So now when you have 90, you're going to be able to see this as horizontally based on the paper. See, it's horizontal. It's nice, right? But now be careful at the orientation because now your door, your front door, which really matters, is facing east. As you can see in here, it's east. Why is it east? Because the north is facing that way, see? This, is, this, this says north. So since the north is facing that way, this is east, the up, up, up is west, right? So, and also this is confusing sometimes, but you can always refer to in here uh, when you are saying something, this wall is, uh, is facing on the west or it's facing on the north. No, 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 no. This wall is facing west or it's or it's facing plan north, right? Plan north. So this is just a common um, language so everyone understands, okay? But in this case, this is north and this is east. This entry door is east and, uh, and forgive my redundancy, but I'm just saying this because it's important. But as I was mentioning, this house orientation is for north. So this door should be facing north. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this. See, there we go, now we have it north. So this is facing north. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna check on the other options too, uh, before I forget. So click here, right click. So we have a viewport offset, X, Y. I usually don't use this, but this is just moves the, the drawing up and down, see, 25, you can put 50, goes up and down, that's all it does. I, I don't think it's, uh, it's very important. There we go. Because if you wanna move it, you can move it down or you can move it up, but it's just more precision. And now we have in here another option that is scale, okay? For so many people, scale sometimes is very confusing, including me, I, when I was starting, I, well, I would have no idea about what a scale is, honestly. <laughs> so what we do with the scale is, in, the, in here you have two, three options. Rectangle, rectangle to fit, a scale to fit, or current scale. This is right now current scale, but we can also do rectangle to fit, or we can also do a scale to fit. For example, let's go here and make this a little bit smaller. Let's go see here, there we go. We made it smaller. Now we're gonna go here and then put in here rectangle to fit, right? Or a scale to fit, there we go, right? Okay, again, so th there are multiple multiple uh, tools in here you can use. It just depends on the practice. Um, and every day uh, you can be learning more and more. Scale to fit, re current scale. So what I usually do is I leave it at, as current scale, like the way I imported it, okay? And then I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna extend this viewport again, see? This viewport again, and then we're gonna have everything good. Now, I'm almost, I'm almost gonna finish the video, but I still need to talk about something else. Um, what I need is also, what is the scale of this drawing area, this right draw? What is the scale currently? So the way you can see the scale is if you go to the ruler, this is the ruler, toggle ruler, click in there, and then right click on the ruler itself, and then in the ruler itself, it's gonna show you the scales right there. So this is 3 16th inches equal one uh, foot, right? So that's the scale right now, okay? What I usually see in the field in architectural drawings is one quarter of an inch equals one feet, or I see one eighth, equals one feet. So whenever the architect is providing drawings, they will show these two scales. So you have the other option. You can import this current file, and if it's at one quarter, you go here, put it as one quarter, and you are good with the scaling. But if not, what you're gonna have to do is the following, right? As, as I did in my other videos, we need to make sure that this is the correct scale. 
for example, in here, how to know how, how this is the current scale? I usually check on the doors because usually the doors are three feet and that's a very good rule of thumb type of thing or a good trick. So this door could be three feet width. And then what you do is go to the PDF and then put the dimension in there. So measure this right there. And then instead of 2.5, you're gonna put three feet or depending on any other dimension. There we go. So now it's three feet. You go here, you grab it. Okay, now we're talking because now this is three feet. And after that, what you can do is you can lock this, go here, you extend this, and then you can easily and nicely lock it, lock the PDF. And now you can start drawing. But again, look at this. This is already gray out. Check and then check. No, no. Check and then check. There we go. Now this is ready. So you cannot select this PDF because it's locked, right? It's locked. Uh, okay. Now, they, this is my last trick on importing PDF properties. This is my last trick, okay? So now that we have this three, three feet, we have to make sure that this front door has the right orientation. So as of now, it's north, so it's good. But another way to check on that is the following. So just draw a door, let's go, uh, a room for example. In here you're gonna make a room. Anyways, you're gonna make rooms, right? Make a room, okay? And you're gonna put a door to the room. There we go, it needs a door, right? There we go, okay? And then we're gonna change this just to be consistent. Open top right, top left, there we go. And now you can see in here, this door is right here, see? three feet, seven, the height is seven feet, uh, seven foot or seven feet. And then in here, the, the way, the really good way to check if this has the right orientation, because again, uh, forgive my redundancy, I've, I've seen manual J's because they didn't have the right orientation. When they fixed it, it went next to the other tonnage. So for one orientation, they would get a two ton unit and they would change the orientation. It was a 2.5 ton unit. And then the homeowner has been having issues. It wasn't cooling enough. So that's very important. The way to check it is uh, since you're going to have this door. Okay, let's check it in the construction uh, in the worksheet. So in the worksheet, you have this. See, you have the only door and the only door says the orientation is N is north. So that's how you check. This compass is okay, but let's check. Let's make an example. Let's do this. Let's check if this changes. Now this changes, see east, it's fine. Okay, let's put it north. The door is facing north, then it's fine. But for me, I would say, rely more on this worksheet to check the orientation, okay? And number two, this is less relevant, but it has, you have to be consistent on this for the report. You go to the property information, project information. You go here, number, it says orientation. It's very important to put in here north, faces, in here it says north. It doesn't have to say east. Even if you put east, it doesn't matter because it doesn't affect your calculation. This project information is just annotation, not included in the calculations. It's just like the contractor is going to be like, wait a minute, in the report it says east, whereas the compass says north, which one is it? So it's going to be a little bit of confusion, but this will not affect your result. The one that affects your result is this. If this doesn't say north, it says east, then we might be oversizing or undersizing, right? Okay, all right. So in this case, we're gonna put instead of east, we're gonna put north. And then once you have the orientation already, you have your PDF in there ready. Now you're ready to do the room layout very quickly and efficiently, all right? I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and also leave any comments. Uh, I always learn from you guys when, when you put any comment too and subscribe, okay? I'll see you in the next video.